Hi guys, thank you so much for becoming my patron. And as a little thank you, I've made a little freebie video for you on saddle fitting. So what I want you to, um, to realize is that you can actually check your saddles all the time without having to pay somebody to come and do it for you with just a couple of little tips. Okay, so we've got a, uh, a jumping saddle here just to have a little bit of a look at. There's three basic things that you need to look at when you're looking at saddle fitting. You know, see here, this is your shoulder blade of the horse. At no point can a saddle be pinching and tight on this because then that's going to really impede the movement. So you need to settle the saddle to a point that feels comfortable on his back, which is there. Okay, then you need to be able to do this here. You need to be able to slide your hand under the front here by, under his, by his shoulder and it shouldn't pinch. Some of them are so tight that you get to this point and then you have to do this, okay? You need to have three fingers clearance under here, also when the rider's on there, okay? As long as there is two fingers when you're actually on, okay? And then the other thing you need to look at is you need to go under the flap here and run your hand from his shoulder blade right across the saddle here and it should at all points be touching. If quite often what happens is right in this point here, it'll be hollow and you won't have, there'll be a space. What that does is mean there'll be a, uh, you know, a bridging point here where it touches and here where it pinches and it'll create pain. You can easily get your hand in here so it means that it's not going to impede the shoulder and, if, and, and press on it. And so the saddle fits them you know, really nicely. You've got good clearance, you've got a nice smooth shape here, and it's touching the back here really smoothly and nicely. So I've put a dressage sad saddle on to show the fitting here as well. So the first thing I want you to notice is that, see, this is the center of the seat. This is where you need to be sitting. Now, if you look at that, and the pommel looks higher than the cantle, it means it's going to be propelling you into the back of the saddle. So you can see straight off from looking at the saddle, the knee roll is pointing forward and it's pointing a little bit back here. So already you can tell that this is going to have too much pressure in here and so you're going to hollow out his back and he's going to start getting pain from that. Come here buddy, save your scratch for later. So firstly, that's the first thing I always want you to have a look at before you get into the nitty gritty of the three things that you need to check, is just how does the saddle sit on the horse. So if this was looking like that, I'd say yes, knee rolls in the right place, centre, but it doesn't sit like this, okay, it sits like that, so it's really going to hurt his back here. This, got nice clearance here, and got old gap right under the centre here because it's sitting so far on the back here. So just a couple of simple ways to make sure that your horse is going to be happy and comfortable. Now there's quite a lot of you that ride thoroughbreds that are not as easy to fit a saddle on. So a little tip, because I've had lots of those, is that see where this area is here where you get um, on thoroughbreds, you get very high withers and very low ribs. This is the problem that happens is that the ribs are low and so the saddle sits here and then if it's got a big skinny wither, then of course it ends up pressing on the wither. And so what I used to do was I used to get the fibre G's that you stick on the bandage, you know, on the legs, fold them in half and sometimes get two of them. And in this region here, I would just put this bit of padding. So it's basically the saddle was sitting on a little bit of padding to lift it up onto the rib cage. Now this is quite a handy thing to use when your horse is quite lean. So I can think of a couple of patrons who have a, a couple of young skinny thoroughbreds that they are bringing on and that would be a way because you're going to find it very difficult to find a saddle that fits. So use this little bit of double padding here just to help lift the saddle a little bit so that it comes up and then it's not sitting on the wither. I hope you enjoyed this little saddle refit and if there's anything else that you would like to know about just send me a message, I'd love to hear from you guys.